my soul, Father God, bread of heaven. Leave me till I want no more, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hey, Father, I declare, Lord, in this house, Father, that you'll fill us up. Fill us up, fill us up, fill us up, fill us up. Fill us up, Lord. Fill our cups, Lord. Let it overflow. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come tonight, Father. We come tonight, Lord. We come tonight, Father God. Yes, the thirsting, the thirsting. Promise to satisfy us, oh God. Yes, fill my cup, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Jesus, I'm asking Lord for filling of cups. Yes, Lord God, hallelujah, was seeking for things that could not satisfy. That could not satisfy. And I heard my Savior saying, I was seeking for things that could not satisfy. Then I heard my Savior say, Draw from the well. Yes, Jehovah God. Every thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me. Look down on us and feed us, Lord, till we want no more. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father God. Feed me till I want snow. Fill it up. That I found in you. Jesus. Fill my cup, Lord. Fill it up, Father God. Every thirsting of my soul. Every thirsting. The thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven. Bread of heaven. Feed me. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Fill my cup, Lord. Fill it up. Fill my cup, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we ask for a filling up, Lord. We ask for a pouring out, Lord. We ask for, Lord, uh, the presence of God to fall afresh on us tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, we thank you for your word and we thank you uh, for anticipating your presence and a move in the midst of us. Uh, Father, we thank you tonight, Lord God, that we can focus, Lord, uh, on regaining, uh, retaining, and refocusing. Uh, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, every obstacle that the enemy threw at us, uh, every, Lord God, roadblock, every endurance, Lord, for the proceeding of this remaining year, uh, we ask that, Lord, you cause us to regain strength, uh, to wrestle against the flesh and blood, the principalities and powers. Uh, we ask that you give us strength to wrestle against, Lord, every demonic attack and affliction in our lives. Uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we can retain strength. Uh, 
Father, that we can refocus on where we're heading in you, uh, in a different dimension. Uh, Father God, in a different move, in a different walk. Uh, Father, we declare tonight in the name of Jesus, uh, as we go forth in the strength and in your power, be it unto us, great God of heaven. Uh, let your divine will and your decree to purpose be done in our lives. Uh, Father, let Lord God your will, your perfect will be established. Uh, let anything the enemy done, Lord, to break, to sabotage, uh, to elude, uh, to distract us, God, we will have, Lord, focus. Uh, we will be refocusing our, uh, our mind, uh, on our desire, on the things of above. Uh, Seek ye first the kingdom uh, and all his righteousness and these things shall be added, said the Lord. Uh, Father, we thank you again and we give you praise and we give you honor. For those who are joining us, you already know that we are embarking or we are, are on this journey, 21 days of fasting and prayer. The Bible said, for this kind go it not out but by prayer and giving to fasting. So while we join, we ask that you join us here at Remnant Redeemer International under the theme that we are congregating or we are surrounding ourselves in, in a disciplined fast is regain, retain, and refocus. It is important that we understand many may have different theories uh, about the upcoming year, but uh, as for us, uh, Remnant Redeemer International, uh, we do not want to shift focus uh, not on global event or personal things uh, that is happening in our lives. We might face attack on every side. We may go through different situations of our lives, but we are still saying we got to regain strength while we're going through our situation. We got to retool our mind that we retain what we have learned from past experience, from memories, has used them as a testimony to move forward. And then we are going to refocus our priorities. We're not going to shift our priorities. We're going to be refocusing uh, on come what may, may what comes, uh, that God is worthy of it all. From him is all things and through him all things. So we are going to focus that he gets the glory no matter what the situation. So tonight our reading would be taken from, uh, our reading would be taken from the book of Genesis, uh, the beginning scriptures, uh, the Genesis 21, 19, 9 through 10. And it's a reading for those scholastic scholars or the student of the word, uh, those who know Bible and Bible stories uh, and can attest to the stories of time. You will know some of the stories, but you know quite familiar the story of Sarah and Agar, Ishmael and Isaac, the promised child to Abraham and Sarah. So it reads thus in our in our earring is the King James Version. And Sarah saw the son of Agar and the Egyptians, and she had borne unto Abraham, and she mocking the child. This is what she's mocking the child. Whereas she said unto Abraham, Cast the bondswoman out or her, and her son, and her son and her bondswoman shall not be higher with her sons, here, sorry, to her sons, even as Isaac. Some of you might know the story quite well uh, that guess what? Uh, Sarah could not conceive and bring forth a child, but Agar was the bondswoman, was the helper, was the housekeeper. So in that she was taking care uh, and she bid him remember the story. I'm not going to read it in its entirety. But Sarah said to Abraham, go into thy, thy concubine, go into thy bondswoman, go into thy help. I give you permission to go in since I'm of age and I cannot produce or raise you up a son or a child. Because son represents in biblical text, and we know it in our today's society, a woman cannot bring forth a child lest she go in with a man, unless they conceive and bring forth a child, a semen and a Ovary. So we know that nature and the order of uh, the order that God created, the order of creation and procreation. It is that God created he male and female, and I need not to divert from my text tonight. But while we understand the text about Era, uh, Sarah and Agar and Ishmael, 
We understand the text tonight, uh, and many may theologians may draw their text or their context from it. They may look at the mocking, but tonight we are looking at the packing. What do you mean the mocking and the packing? It is time to pack it up. Can I say that to someone? It is time to pack it up. What do you mean by it is time to pack it up? When you look at the story, you can say that Abraham had many wells. Why did he listen to his wife? But if you read on the later part of the text, it tells you that God said to Abraham, listen to thy wife. Remember, it is his wife that had given him permission to go into the bondswoman because Sarah could not wait for the promises of God. Abraham could not wait uh, for the promises of God. Uh, so it is time to pack it up. It is packing time. Uh, so we're not looking for the mocking, uh, but we're looking for the packing. Uh, many may draw their attention as you and I would have noted uh, if you are scholars or your student in the world uh, would know that uh, Ismail, Ishmael uh, was from the tribe of uh, Islam uh, and, and Isaac was the, from Judaism, Christianity, where Christianity takes place. So the setting of two religious, uh, uh, religious uh, religion that comes from Islam and Christianity, uh, they came from out of uh, Abraham, the promised seed. Uh, you noted in the text which it would read in scriptures and in the Qurans uh, will tell you the stories uh, about Ishmael uh, and when the, the forsaken nation. But listen what I got to say in first coming chapters uh, ahead. It also tells us that guess what Agar got weary. He tells us that, guess what? Hagar was frustrated. Hagar was perplexed about everything. But here Abraham said, I'll give you a morsel of, of bread and I'll give you a cruise of water. And you got to go because my wife is having problem with you being around. How many of you know that it is time, packing time? It is time to pack it up. It is time to pack it in. So you might not understand it. It is it's time to pack it up. Yes, it is. But so many may feel in the story why Agar was used as a surrogate mother. Agar was used to bring forth a child because the maiden didn't want to bring forth a child. And many others today in among celebrities who don't want to lose their figure because a child birth may cause them to gain weight. So they choose a surrogate. So many because of difficulties, uh, they may try to use different methods of insemination. But I'm here to tell somebody, uh, no matter what it may be in your life tonight, uh, it is time to pack it up. You don't understand it, Pastor. I have been rejected and abused. Last year was devastated. I could not understand it. Why I got to go through some things of turmoil. Why I got to go through trauma. Why I got to lose some things and someone along the line. But can I say to you, for us to regain strength, it requires that there was something that has been lost to regain strength for us to regain Oh God Almighty, where we are going, we got to retool our mind and refocus that we have setback, we have hiccups, but we are not stopping here, we are going forward. So many may not understand it, but I'm here to tell you, 2022 might be horrific, maybe something that you cannot detest and attest to why did I go through what I go through. Agar might have the same question, but she felt as if, guess what, since I bear the man a child you and you are wife, guess what, I can do what I will because I gave him a son. A son will rise up and bring forth offspring. Yes, daughters can have children, but they will not carry the family last name in this society today. The courts and as well as when you have given birth to a child, you, the mother can attach her last name, her family name. But the seed comes from the father. The true seed comes from the man. 
If you do a DNA, a DNA analysis uh, through blood work or swab, uh, you will see the chromosomes of men and women, uh, and it detests what who could be the biological father by blood. So that covenant could be carried out. Uh, so yes, Ishmael was by blood. Isaac was by blood because they are children of Abraham. They are sons of Abraham. I'm saying to you today, we see, I have here these different luggages and sometimes in our travel we overpack. Sometimes, sometimes we pack a lot of stuff that we don't want to use. We pack all our small pieces or carrying on our personal luggage. But can I say to someone, it is time to pack it up. Have we ever gone to the airport and because we have these many luggages, we don't know how to get or to navigate ourselves. We don't know how to run on to meet our other airline or aircraft. I'm here to say to someone, God said, it is time to pack it up. Because I have a service, I have a plan for you. I have another route that I want to refocus your mind. You may feel like you can't do it. But for these 21 days, pack it up, pack it up, pack it up. Tell someone you got to pack it up. Sometimes you got to pack it in. Can I tell someone you got some things that is personal? And when we carry our personal luggages, we don't carry it on or check it on the airline. We get ourselves strapping. We get ourselves ready. Can I say to you, you got to get the personal things in priority. You can't and shift your focus for this year. You got to know that you got to go somewhere. It doesn't matter how you're going to make the journey. You might feel overwhelmed and you got many pieces, any many personal pieces. Can I say this to someone? It may look like this, like I'm packed up. I've got a whole lot of stuff stuff on me. Can I say this to someone? You got your luggages, they're heavy. Can I say that you may be pushing, you may be tussling. How do I get to my next destination? How can I get to where God wants me? Because I have these many stuff, I got to keep on moving. Can I say that when you're packing it up, you don't know, you just got to keep on moving. Thank God for luggages that they make, that they go different direction these days. So you can also move uh, in the direction in which God have you. You got your luggages. You got your baggages. You got your hang up. Uh, but I'm telling you somebody uh, like Agar. Uh, even when you feel frustrated. Uh, don't cast what God gives you away. Uh, Ishmael was a gift. Uh, despite it was not the promised child. Uh, but it was uh, that the will. The permissive will was given. Uh, and he was given birth. Can I say that to you? The situation that you face and you have been dealt with, God said to tell you tonight it is time to pack it up. So you're packing it up. For those who do international travel, you may be running from country to country. So you have a lot of stuff. You might have a lot of deadline. You don't know how to travel, how to get to where you need to. But can I say to someone, God says, don't curse the day. Don't curse the situation. Learn how to pack it up. Because you can't move on from where you have been. Sometimes you got to get some stuff out of the way. What do you mean by that, Pastor? Sometimes you got to get rid of some stuff. Can I say to someone, you got to pack it up? So you pack up your whole lot of stuff. You got to move. You got to relocate. Where Ishmael was going to go with Agar? They don't know where they were going to because all they were given was uh, bread and water to sustain them. Can I say that if you were given bread and water, that Jesus Christ is the bread of life? Can I say that to someone, he that is hungry and thirst, come and buy bread without milk or money? Can I say that he is the living water? He's the source of all so fountain. Can I tell you that 
even if you are given the bread and water, consider the broken body of Jesus Christ. As often as you do it, you show the Lord's death until he comes. Can I tell you the brokenness of his body and his flesh? Can I tell you if there was no shedding of no blood, there will be no remission for your sins. But thanks be to God, I can pack it up. Thanks be to God, I can refocus. Thanks be to God that God can open doors. And when the doors of our lives seem to be shut, God will open up windows. Is there not any windows in heaven uh, that God can pour us out a blessing? So look at Agar walking, having nothing to feed the child. Uh, the child was hungry. What can I do? Where can I go? I can't call on no one. Uh, I don't have anything out of frustration. She cast the child against the brook, the well. She was frustrated in her endeavor. And here comes the voice of God speak to her. Can I say to someone, God will speak to you uh, if you give yourself to God. Uh, Sometimes God speaks to us when we are fr frustrated, uh, when we are isolated, uh, when we are content, uh, when we are discontent and discomfort uh, in our situation. But can I say to someone, uh, you don't need to run to the phone to call someone up. Uh, you don't have to dial a friend in, uh, but can I tell someone, uh, don't run to the phone, but run to the throne. Uh, all you need to do is come to Jesus as I was. Uh, I was weary, worn, and sad, but I found in him a resting place. Uh, can I say that sometimes uh, you got your luggages uh, and your baggages, but you got to take them to make your resting place. Uh, you got to sometimes take a stone to make your pillar. Sometimes there are sleepless nights, but God said to tell you tonight, uh, it is time to pack it up. How could you know where I'm God taking you? How do you know if you stand here? Uh, the three leprous men said, if we sit here, we'll surely die. Uh, but prevent you, we go yonder, we might. Uh, so it's not in the staying at one place, uh, but it's to refocus. Uh, they had a conversation one with another. Surely if we stay here, we will die because we are lepers and we are hunger. We look at the situation as it is. It's very real. Can I say to someone that is looking at the situation of their life, it is very real to deal with, but I know who created all things. Can I say to someone, you got to get in your spirit. You got to speak to yourself like David said. Soul, why art thou disquiet in me? Don't believe it in God. Oh, also in him uh, can I say for he is the refuge uh, my salvation uh, can I say I know the God in whom I serve uh, can you retain and refocus uh, that God brought you through the land of droughts and pits and shadow of death uh, is he not able or capable to deliver you uh, he will not leave us over to the will of our enemies so she came with frustration but until God speaks to us. So for these 20 and 1 days, we are going to speak to God, but we are looking for God to speak to me. When your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart, I'll agree. And my answer is going to be affirmative yes. My answer is going to be yes, 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 and yes. Can I tell you the devil wants you to quit? The enemy wants you to give up. But you've got to say yes. You've got to say come what may, may what come. I know God is able to do it. Can I say to somebody, it is time to pack it up. But pastor, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what is ahead. Can I say that he that holds tomorrow, he holds the future and our life hid in his hands. It is the God that given all things into our hands. Can I say the capable God, the abling God. Can I say that he foresee all things. You just got to seek him. So, hey, 
regard so sought God. But there was also a pronunci pronunciation over the life of, of Ishmael. He shall be a great nation. So sometimes you feel rejected, cast out. But the God is still with you. As long as you're above grave, you can give yourself to God and the Holy Spirit. And he will give direction. He will give clarity. He will give vision. And also he will make provision. So instead of the mocking and the jeering and the laughing, don't focus on what folks are saying. It is not in the mocking, but it's in the packing. You got to pack it up. You got to wrap it up. You've lost so much along the way. you lost so much through the course of time. And every year you spend, you're getting a new day, a new year. You're adding to your life a new birthday. You'll be getting older. So while you're getting older, you got to get wiser. you got to get in tune. You cannot afford to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. You got to pack it up. Touch somebody and say, Pack it up. It is time to go. It is time to make it. We cannot afford to fail. We cannot afford to give up. We cannot afford to give in because God said He's going to take us over. The God of heaven we serve is going to make a way. So you say, Pastor, it's time to pack, but for a pack to go where? Didn't I say go to the angel speaker, to, to Agar, and give her instruction to dry her tears and pick up the child? Can I say that when you speak to God, give yourself to prayer? Can I say God will reveal himself to you? And in doing so, you can experience God in your life. So for these 21 days, let us know that God is able to keep us from falling. Jesus is and he is and was. He will give us the assurance. God, we thank you for your people, Lord God. And we thank you for your word that is time to pack. Because you're taking us to a dimension unknown. And we bless you tonight and we thank you. We give you glory, God. We thank you that you are worthy, that you are God. We give you praise and we give you honor. And we tell you thanks. Remember to join us as we're counting all the days and we're ramping up in prayer. Each night we join you for the charge and the challenge. The charge and the challenge. We're going to stay focused. But God is doing great things in the midst of us. God bless you.